Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Saria, and if you are new here, please subscribe. I make videos like this about twice a week, and we would love for you to join our little Disney family. I say that, but today's video is actually Harry Potter themed. <laughs> Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch. Today's video is actually going to be pretty short and simple, but I really wanted to post this because I thought it was cute. Uh, for my baby shower, many of you know I just had a baby, and last month, wait, last month? No, last week in March, my best friend and my sister hosted a baby shower for me that was Harry Potter themed, and it was awesome. It was magical, beautiful, everything that I wanted. Um, but I really wanted to make the cupcakes for it because I had this really cute idea of sorting hat cupcakes. So basically the concept was a cupcake with the sorting hat on top, all of it I wanted to be edible, and then I wanted you to be able to bite into the cupcake and there'd be a color inside that was one of the Hogwarts houses. So like, it was kind of like you were being sorted by eating the cupcake. So like you'd either get blue for Ravenclaw or red for Gryffindor or whatever. Um, this is a really, really simple tutorial. You do not need to be a very good baker to do this. You don't need to know how to do fondant. You don't need to know how to be fancy at all. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I used a box for cupcake mix and pre-tubed icing. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So to start out, I got these Werther's Original Caramels from Dollar Tree and I needed five packs to do 24 cupcakes let them cool in the fridge for about 10 minutes before working with them and it made them a lot less sticky. So start out by unwrapping one and creating kind of like a flat disc. This is going to be the bottom of the sorting hat. And then the second piece you're going to kind of roll into a cone shape but keep it rounded and you're going to bend the top of the cone to have that sorting shape kind of sorting hat shape. <laughs> then I took a toothpick to make the face and I just kind of pressed it in at an angle for the eyes and then I rolled it um, on the bottom for the mouth. And then I just went in and kind of firmly pressed it down to the base of the hat and went in and reshaped the face as needed and this is what the hat looked like when I was done. You are going to want to chill these hats. It um, just helps them kind of solidify and not melt when you take the cupcakes out. I would actually suggest making all the hats and then letting them sit in the fridge or even the freezer overnight. Then go ahead and take your cupcakes after they have cooled completely, take a spoon and kind of chisel out the center of the cupcake. You don't want to do too much because you don't want them to be overloaded with the frosting, just enough for a pop of color. And then go ahead and take your colored frosting, whether homemade or store-bought, and just swirl a little bit into the opening that you've created. Then you're going to take your frosting and pipe it along the cupcake. Um, I did not do a good job, but that's okay. I just chose chocolate for the top of mine. I thought it would go good with the caramel on top, and then I just did yellow cake batter. And this is what it looked like when it was all done. These are all of the cupcakes that I made. I am missing one, and as you can see, I kind of tried out different shapes with the hats. I did notice though that the ones that I let chill in the fridge kept their shape much, much better for the party the next day. 